Well, uh, I'm so excited to be here. That's my first time to do like an interview like that. So I'm so excited. How you gonna play? Mm. I play good uh, because uh, my <laughs> teammates, <laughs> my teammate was a uh, passing me ball. Uh, I got uh, like a some like a fast break uh, and like a black shot a little bit. Um, that I had three rebounds. You know, I probably never had three rounds three rounds in my life. So you know, that was that was shocking. But um, yeah, you know, I just I just I just let the game come to me. You know, I didn't really force anything. You know, I just happened to have fourteen and three, so it's okay for me. Um I was able to show my low post game, um and, and my perimeter game I think and my ability to score the basketball and help my team win. Sure, thank you. Um I'm just a regular high school coach. I'm not a big power conference player, national or school or anything like that. So as I told the guys, this, this is my one shot. I, I turn into a pumpkin tomorrow. I go back home. So I, I just sort of promised myself that I was just going to have a great time, get to meet all of these kids, and just uh, enjoy it. And, and it, it's truly special what these kids go through with the uh, McDonald House uh, experience. Um, I, I, it's just you don't know. You don't know until you really visit. So it was just it's. It's a wonderful event, and I wish all my friends could exchange chance to experience it. Um, yes, on the way here, you know, I kind of put my headphones on and just got a game mode instantly. Um, that's what I usually do. I don't usually wait till I get to the arena because it's usually too late for me. So um, I, w I was in game mode an hour before the game, two hours before the game. <clears throat> okay, well, my first time play this is the that's the first time play. I play like a lot of crowd like that, so that's my first time. I was a kind of nervous and scared. But like when I was playing, like I got sec I got so excited. Uh, I think overall, I just um, this has been a great event. But uh, before I came here, I, I said a couple of prayers and um, just put my music in. I just had fun with my teammates before I came here, so it really got me ready for the game. Uh, my city and state been behind me the whole time. Um, uh, it's just been a great experience out here, and um, knowing that they have my back uh, is it's just a great feeling. Uh, it means a lot to me. I think it's kind of a stock booster for me uh, coming in here. I, I was very confident uh, coming from my high school team, and um, everything just transferred over here. And um, the players just, we just developed great chemistry, and they, they believed in me, and I believe in those guys too. I mean, I don't really know him, yeah. So I never meet him. <laughs> so I don't want to talk about it because I don't know him. Um, probably this game because, you know, your family and friends from home come to this game and watch you. And then, and it's um, on ESPN, so everyone, again, everyone at home can watch too from your school and everywhere else. So this is probably the biggest game, the biggest event by far in this in this um, week. Uh, I also say, I also say this is the biggest event. Uh, just showed you it's more than basketball. Uh, going to the Ronald McDonald House and helping the families out there is just it's it's a blessing to be out there. Like I Brandon said now, it's the same time. Like uh, that's a big thing to me now too, because my host parent come to watch me. I'm so excited, and my school, my classmate. Uh, so a lot of people come to see, watch me. So I'm so excited. Can I answer as well? Um, for me, it was uh, I was with a couple of people. We got separated and ran uh, the uh, Ronald McDonald House, and so we thought the group before us went to the top floor, and uh, we went to the top floor and we didn't find them. And as we were ready to go back down, there was a father who came back up with his son, and they wanted to go see the picture of the son who had graduated from the Ronald McDonald House. And just seeing the, the, the just sheer joy of the dad bringing the boy back to the house was just really impactful for me and, and the group that was with us. And he, he came to the Powerade uh, dunk contest, too. So he's just, just a happy man. Um, it's an amazing feeling just just playing in front of a big crowd like this. You know, um, um, I've been playing with big crowds since I was a freshman in high school, so I'm kind of used to this stage. But um, yeah, just just being here in itself is a it's a great feeling because you're versing the top 24 kids in your class. You know, the practices we had all competitive, and everyone's just trying to win. I can say that's my first time playing like crowd like that, uh, so. I'm so excited. I don't know. I don't know what to say. <laughs> uh, being here is this is just an amazing experience. Uh, being competing with these top guys in the nation. Um, they just show me where I'm at and um, when I go home, what to work on. It's. Um, 
I have a lot of really good kids who, who care. I think the biggest difference is these guys, they're, they're just kids and they have the same things going on with my boys back home. They're just bigger, faster, stronger, finish at a much higher level. Uh, and, and so I, I think I can share some stories about how hard they practiced and, and those sorts of things that they loved. They really, I mean, I think we really competed at practice this week and uh, that would be the thing I'd share that they might be way bigger, strong, faster athletes and playing big time and all that, but they, they practiced hard and that's what, anybody can do that. Yeah, so that would be that thing. I mean, that's kind of natural because when I was younger, I used to play soccer. So I switched soccer to basketball. That's why I, I got, I'm so fast and, so, and basketball now. Uh, the, the best advice they gave me is just play hard because you never know when it's your last time playing. So uh, I always go back to those guys. Uh, Jerry Stackhouse is actually my mentor. Uh, me and Reggie Bullock are very cool, so they give me good advice. You know what, that guy, I'm trying to watch things, he gets attention everywhere he goes. and. I think he was our most selfless player, that he, he enjoys passing the ball. I mean, he, 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 I think, for me, Diamond, you tell me, he seemed like he was a really fun guy to play with because he wasn't going to force any bad yes. shots. Yes, I love playing with Ben, you know. Too bad, too bad he's going to LSU, though. I wish he'd go to the <laughs> yeah, you're not doing that, going to the Terps. <laughs> but, you know, he's, uh, he's, he's, just, he's just got a, he's got a uh, uh, calmness about him that he handles all this attention it doesn't seem to get him a big head when he's around his teammates and everything he's just uh yeah I, I, it's, it's it's real mature he's just a joy to be with unfortunately um steve ojo committed i mean um recruited me too late um you know um buzz when buzz williams left you know he came in and it was already too late so unfortunately, you know, I couldn't I couldn't go to the Marquette because I didn't know the coaching staff or anything like that. And Coach Brown Ryan, you know, he's a great coach. You know, Wisconsin was my second option, and and um, about uh, Maryland, you know, um, what was the question about Maryland again? I didn't I didn't hear you. What, what was it about Maryland that made you feel yeah. like that was the place? Um, I just seen what they did to Alex Lynn. You know, coming in, Alex Lynn was like a little skinny kid, and he left like a man. So you know, I just figured that like they'd do the same thing with me. A couple more questions. Um I'll say no because you know I, it, it wasn't really stressful for me cuz you know I had I had uh, I have great parents that um take um take control of my recruitment so I don't have to worry about anything. So you know this game was like a normal game. The only difference was it was just a bigger stage. Um no, you know I um I've been playing with these guys since you know my freshman year, so I know all these guys and I think this week um, we've just been getting getting closer, you know, as just like friends, long-term friends. I'd say, you know, our um, chemistry is getting tighter. Uh, I think we've been together since our freshman year. Um, going, coming into these practices, uh, we all get along with each other, so uh, it wasn't very hard for us to play with each other, so it was a great feeling. I can say that's my first time to play like those guys. I play against Tom, Thomas Bryan because he's my AU teammate. Only time else, uh, we play the same team. Those guys, uh, we never played the same team before.